hello everybody this is Carmen and I wanted to kind of um, do a quick little update nothing too major um, the mermaid that I was working on um, on last Saturday's let's create live um, I got some requests um, through my Instagram from Brandy hey Brandy um, and also from uh, Barry Crafter who's Liz and they kind of wanted to know how I was going as far as the pieces that I had made um, well this is the mermaid and as you can see she is in pieces but that's a good thing um, pretty much she is dry um, this little area right here I took the well it actually wasn't stuck all the way through because I just pretty much molded it on top of one another and that's actually one of the good things about this is that um, you can mold pieces on top of one another and unless you actually blend them in they won't stick to each other so you can actually um, you know glue them on later or adjust them later if you want or however the case may be so I have um, all the pieces pretty much separated uh, the body which is the body right here let me just open this cardboard so I'm not sliding all over the place um, this is the body here and I added some more hair on her and I'm going to be finishing her up on Wednesday uh, when I do my next live instead of working on cards that day um, due to the request of everybody that was present during the live stream on Saturday they wanted me to kind of uh, keep working on this project um, you know on the next live stream so that's gonna be this upcoming Wednesday so if you want to see more molding and just more creating with the porcelain clay I hope that you join and that you you know you'll watch and stuff like that I'm gonna be painting this one and this is how the back is <laughs> and if you go and watch the live stream then you'll get more or less um, why this is the way that it is and you might have some giggles along the way so but she's pretty much dry I don't know if you guys can hear that but she's pretty much dry and everything is um, very good and all the little peaks are nice and stiff which is what you want and I added a little bit of texture to kind of give her like some braids and stuff in there so I added some texture on one of them and this is pretty much her hair and then this is the tail and I think I scraped it here with my nail at one point during the live but that's quite alright because I am going to be painting over this and just adding um, different you know textures and paints and stuff like that I'm also gonna be adding some glazing mediums to kind of bring this whole mermaid uh, look to life and this is pretty much what she looks on the bottom side so as you can see um, the color has changed but I also added some gold paint to this so some of the parts there would normally be white they normally get a little bit on the yellower side but because I added some gold paint you can kind of see that there's like two different tones on here which is quite alright um, I just wanted to add some variation to it while I was on live so that you guys can kind of see um, you know how it was forming so you guys can actually see like the different uh, textures and stuff like that which on the white is kind of hard to see it on the camera so but this is pretty much all nice and I really do like how this tail came out I feel like it looks very realistic and I'm very very happy with it and if you can hear that um, it'll still keep drying but for the most part um, it'll shrink it'll shrink just a little bit while it's drying but it really won't shrink too too much which is what I like about this as well um, and then this is the tail that I was showing you guys earlier and this one still has a little bit of drying area here and this is because the fin you know the tail not the, not the fin but the tail was um, kind of resting on that so it wasn't allowing that area to dry so when I went to go check it and I noticed that that was like that I kind of you know took it off because it, it just popped right off as long as it's dry it'll pop right off if you haven't blended it in or glued it on um, and I'm just gonna allow this to continue to dry and by Wednesday will be at a hundred percent it's already at a, a good 98 I do feel it to be a little soft just in this area here but everywhere else it seems to be um, very very good and um, nice and dry and hard so together she's gonna fall right into place like that and I'm gonna glue it in and I'm also gonna be adding some kind of um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be adding there, but I am going to be adding something there, which is why I left it the way it was and I didn't actually connect them. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to have it coming from under her, you know, like uh, overlapping this area here. And then I'm going to glue her on or what exactly it is that I'm going to do with that. But I will be adding something there um, to give her like some kind of a skirt type of uh, look. And then I'm going to be gluing on, you know, uh, the tail. But it'll be easier for me to paint the tail all the way around. And then glue it all on after it's nice and dry as opposed to trying to go around different areas of it different parts of it so this is this 
and I have one piece that I painted the other day I actually painted it yesterday because I couldn't help myself I couldn't touch this so I had to, I had to paint something so um, I showed you guys on the live stream this is a flower that I kind of molded you can kind of see it there and it's all crinkly on the back but this is how it looks once it's kind of all painted up and I think it's super pretty and you guys can hear that it's a uh, I have some glass here you know it's nice and sturdy so this is pretty much you know just some of the inner working so I hope that you guys will catch me on Wednesday I'm gonna be doing the rest of this I think I'm also gonna be trying to make an octopus or some kind of other sea creatures in my mind I have pretty much everything flying through it right now so hopefully um, it'll all work out well and this is gonna be like a part by part by part um, so far I got the mermaid down I'm gonna create some more little sea creatures that I'm gonna allow to dry and then hopefully um, within either the next Saturday or the Wednesday after that or the next Saturday after that depending on how everything goes um, I'm going to be creating a canvas and showing you guys how to put all of these different things together that you can make on your own using the do-it-yourself um, recipe for the cold porcelain that I have up on my channel so hopefully you guys will go and check that out and I hope you like what you see so far, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.